Hi there, students. So, what do you think of the new haircut? A special by my daughter. Great haircut, yeah? Yeah, it's still me. It's still the same person. Okay, let's see. Today, I wanted to look at two idioms or two phrases. One is to make a mountain out of a molehill. And the other one is much ado about nothing. And these two idioms, they're really similar. Let's see. This is when a person overreacts. They make too much out of a minor problem or an issue. I just moved a couple of things on the shelf. And when the chef discovered, he got really angry. He's making a mountain out of a molehill. Yeah, it's all much ado about nothing. This isn't a really big deal. It's all much ado about nothing. He's making a mountain out of a molehill. The emphasis that the press are putting on this scandal seems crazy to me. They're making a mountain out of a molehill. It's all much ado about nothing. Yeah? Um, they're blowing it out of proportion. So, let's see. Much Ado About Nothing is actually the name of a Shakespeare play. Um, it's one in which there are two characters who don't end up not getting married because he thinks that she's not a virgin. But in reality, she is. Um, and there's Much Ado About Nothing. Well, that's the idea of the title. Um, OK, so much ado about nothing is blowing things out of proportion. Um, I think much ado about nothing has m a little bit more the idea of hype, making a lot of fuss, either complaints or a lot of amazement and excitement about something that's just irrelevant. Um, I arrived five minutes late and they got really upset. It's much ado about nothing. It was only five minutes. They're making a mountain out of a molehill. The advertising for this new film says it's the most fantastic, most brilliant film that has ever been made. Um, but when I went to see it, it was really disappointing. Much ado about nothing. Lots of hype. Okay, so to make a mountain out of a molehill, this is more to um, get upset about something irrelevant. Let's see, a mole is a small blind animal, a bit like the size of a rat, and the mole makes tunnels underneath the ground, and then it pushes up little mounds or little piles of earth to the surface. So a molehill is probably about this high. And this is very little compared to a mountain, yeah? Making a, mo a mountain out of a molehill. It's a mountain. It's enormous. Okay, so m make a mountain out of a molehill is more normally for complaints. You can use much or do about, about nothing for complaints, but also for about overstatement and uh, height hype for things. So both of them, this is talking about getting histrionically upset about something that really is, it's not worth it, it's irrelevant. Now the next question, what about formality? I think I would probably give these both five in formality. They're both idioms. I think much ado sounds literary, of Shakespeare, um, and maybe a little bit old-fashioned. Um, so, and then the making a mountain out of a molehill, again, this is neutral. I think you can use both of these phrases informally and formally. And then as to origin, well, the phrase much ado about nothing already existed before Shakespeare named his play. Um, but it comes from that sort of epoch. 
And the phrase to make a mountain out of a molehill, I think this is 16th century. Yeah. So I hope they make much ado about nothing with this video, that it's acclaimed as the best video ever made in 2020 and uh, they put it on television. No, that would be much ado about nothing. So if you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Much ado about nothing. Um, or to make a mountain out of a molehill.